Well, yeah. yesterday they thought it came pretty close to the bridge. Yeah, and then Tim McGraw like takes a chopper in and then runs in because <laughs> he has to stay in such good jumps. shape, yeah. right? Oh, uh, well, the what a gorgeous afternoon out yeah. there. You know, we were it talking about how beautiful it is. it is. It is. It's just gorgeous, and it's just so amazing that it's so nice. You know, this time of the year it can get kind of iffy, but yeah. it just played out so perfectly uh, for this lunar eclipse last night. I want to show you some of my favorite pictures that All I got right. in, and they are just gorgeous. This one. Doesn't really get much more stunning than this. Take a look at that blood moon from the super moon lunar eclipse last night. That's the eclipse in Mount Hood. Thanks to Gary Randall for sending in that one. And again, a much better view than what I was seeing last night being stuck in North Carolina at an airport. So I uh, just love seeing these pictures. Another beautiful one of this super moon eclipse. Thanks to Erica Plummer for sending in this one. You can see that nice orange hue. And of course, uh, this beautiful picture from Salem. So it really didn't matter where you were in the Pacific Northwest. You just got this great view on up into Battleground. To Tyler Mode sending in this one uh, from the super moon uh, eclipse from last night. And of course, it's that blood orange color uh, right when it hit the total eclipse phase. And then the sky stayed mainly clear after that. Temperatures took a dip last night, and boy, did they climb again this afternoon. We are at 80 degrees right now in Portland, so it is still feeling nice and warm. And you can see skies are mainly clear. A few high clouds out there could make for a dynamite sunset later on tonight, especially when you take a look at the gorge. Look at that pretty picture there right now from our Skamania Lodge camera. Just looking gorgeous, and clouds like that can really make for a gorgeous sunset. 75 degrees, by the way, so it is a little bit cooler through the gorge where winds have been a bit gusty this afternoon. Thankfully, it looks like they should die down a little bit more tomorrow. A Stoller family estate here, just a beautiful view at the winery, 81 degrees, and we're at 72 in Columbia River at the Columbia River Maritime Museum camera from our in Astoria from our camera there. You can just see the beautiful view at 72, and temperatures are warm, uh, fairly mild for most of the coast uh, today, and we saw plenty of sunshine. That is for sure. 72 in Astoria. Newport, a little cooler. We're at 59 degrees there. Still in the 80s across parts of I 5, upper 60s back towards Redmond and 70s as you head farther east. Overnight lows tonight, again on the cool side. So dress in layers if you're going to be out and about tomorrow morning and outdoors for a while. You may want to have that jacket around 48 degrees the low in Vancouver, only 51 in Portland and in the upper 40s for Salem. Central and Eastern Oregon, we're down into the 30s tonight. So uh, many places. So it'll be a chilly start tomorrow morning for sure. Then the afternoon looks great. We're back to almost 80 in Bend, 84 for the Dow. So warming things up through the gorge tomorrow, 82 in Burns, upper 80s for Rome. And look at I 5 through the valley. Temperatures in the low to mid 80s tomorrow, and another gorgeous day for the coast, too. We'll see 70s up near Astoria, and then highs in the low 60s down towards Newport. So Enjoy it because after tomorrow, we're going to see that cloud cover start to push into the coastal areas and it'll be a little bit tougher to see that sunshine. So, out there right now, just high clouds, no rain to talk about anytime soon. We have a couple of disturbances, one back to our north and west, one down south. So, uh, we're really not going to be impacted by either one of those, but we will see those westerly winds kick up to bring in some of that cloud cover for the coast. And you'll start to see it creep in tomorrow evening. So, that's where I'll start the clock here. You can see the clouds are already starting to roll in. But for the valley, we stay mainly clear, maybe just a little bit of fog. Wednesday morning before it's back to sunshine. Meanwhile, watching for patchy drizzle for the coast and those clouds a little tougher to clear for Wednesday. By Thursday, we'll start to see that cloud cover uh, get going a little bit more for the valley and it'll be a little bit tougher to clear out. So we'll be back to partly sunny skies, still dry. Rain chances not arriving until Saturday for the valley. So your coastal forecast tomorrow. Beautiful day. Low to mid 70s from Astoria back towards Tillamook. 60s for Lincoln City and Newport. And we'll see offshore wind for a lot of the day, too. I 5, low to mid 80s in many areas. Sunny and warm. Central and east, upper 70s to low 80s after a chilly start. Uh, for the Cascades, mid 70s for Government Camp. 83 in Hood River. And the wind's a little less breezy tomorrow. So some good news there. And then your seven day forecast here showing tomorrow will be the last day in the 80s for us. It's back to the 70s after that. But the weather not looking too bad at all. Going into the end of the week, a mix of sun. Sunshine and cloud cover. Slight chance for shower Saturday, then it's back to sunshine for Sunday and Monday with highs in the mid 70s, feeling just like fall. A little taste of summer in the afternoons mm. today and tomorrow, and then it's feeling like fall for the rest of the week. I have no complaints with mm -mm. that forecast. <laughs> no, Very good looking. Either. None. Yeah. Good looking forecast, I'd Thanks, say. Kristen. Right? Thank <laughs> you. Well, 